Lighthouse Point, Florida, a more in-depth look at the city and all the amazing things that it has to offer. A video presented to you by the Printer Group at Compass. The Hillsboro Inlet. The focal point of the waterways. Anywhere in the city you can be out to the ocean within 15 minutes going through the, this inlet. And through the inlet you're less than 90 minutes to the Bahamas. Deep waterways, it's an easily navigatable inlet, much easier than the port or Boca. As you will see, our city actually has two Publix. There will soon be a third. We also have a Whole Foods, AMC, Home Goods, and an Ulta directly across the street, not to mention a Trader Joe's five minutes north of us. The Pink Church, which you'll see on the left, is a landmark to the city due to its steeple. It's easy to tell people where you're going and what's around. Um, our office is on the south end of the city on 25th, as you just saw. Now you're seeing the incredible waterways that the city really, it's what draws people in. Most people either are on the water or very close to the water when you live in Lighthouse Point, thus coming back to the ability to use the inlet and get over to Bahamas, fishing, whatever you'd want to do. It's really an incredible location with tons of just waterfront homes. Frank McDonough Park is one of the four parks in the city. Two of them are waterfront, which we will get to later. The other two, Dan Witt and Frank McDonough, both have tennis courts, pickleball, basketball, activities for the kids, sports, really great amenities for all the local residents. Lighthouse Point Marina, the city does have its own marina. You can rent a boat slip. There's also a gas dock for bait and everything else you need. Two restaurants, one, the Naughty Dog Cafe, is in the lighthouse docks in the marina, and then the Caps Place across the street. Tons of historic value. You can only get there by boat. I will do another video about that down in the future. Again, the waterways are incredible, and here's the other two parks in the city on the water. On the north end, you'll see DeGroff. On the south end of the city is Exchange Club. Both of them have incredible public beaches and restrooms, another great set of amenities for local residents. As we come to the end and you leave through this gorgeous bridge in the inlet, you'll see the Hillsborough Lighthouse. It's what our city was named after, even though the lighthouse is actually on Hillsborough Beach. It's lighthouse Point itself, the city, for those of you that don't know, um, is a self-enclosed city. We have our own fire department, our own police station, our own libraries, um, and actually our own license plate reading system. The city is, it's a gated community without the gates of sorts. Every single car that comes in and out of the city, the license plate is scanned and it runs through their system. So if it's stolen car or anything like that, police don't have a lot to do here. So they'll be there in about five minutes. <laughs> I always joke, it's like the Vatican City. It used to be Pompano and they actually cut a little square out on the water and it became a lighthouse point. And so there's only like 5,000 residents in the city. It's like super small. They have their own police, ambulance, like three parks in the city, like everything, and it's all in-house. We have our own city council. So it, it's, it's pretty unique. I mean, that's why a lot of people live here. The only downside is the schooling. I mean, realistically, you gotta go to private schools. But your location, it's, it's one of, in South Florida and in the United States, it's an interesting thing because it's both one of the wealthier areas by zip code, and it is also one of the safest areas. Another good aspect of Lighthouse Point is its proximity to both ports and airports. So if you're looking for cruises, we're down to the Port of Miami or the Port Everglades. They're only about 20 to 30 minutes to get on boats. If you're flying, you can get up to the Palm Beach International Airport or the Fort Lauderdale International Airport within 20 or 30 minutes. So those people that are looking for travel, you're not in the hub of being in a big city like Miami or Fort Lauderdale, but you're still super close. Also, for those of you that might have a private jet, you're five minutes to the Pompano Executive Airport and 10 minutes to Boca Executive.